Hello, my name is Vandana Slatter, State Representative in the 48th Legislative Districts, representing the cities of Bellevue, Redmond, Kirkland, Clyde Hill, Medina, and the Points communities. Today is Data Privacy Day. This day helps to raise awareness and educate us on online privacy and managing our personal information to keep it secure. The day also encourages our tech companies and online business communities to be transparent about how they collect and use our data. We use many technology tools in our lives, and with all the agreements to read uh, for every app or program, we can feel resigned or overwhelmed trying to protect and understand what our data risks are. However, there are steps you can take to learn about the types of data you're generating online, how it's collected, shared, and used. And we are working on foundational data privacy this legislative session to try to do just that. Privacy does exist, and we must find ways to protect your data and give you the choice as to how and when it is shared. Hi, I'm Susan Delbene. January 28th is known around the world as Data Privacy Day, a day dedicated to raising awareness around consumer data privacy. This is a great opportunity to talk about what's needed to protect consumers and families in our digital world. Data privacy is an issue that I am very passionate about. Before coming to Congress, I had a long career in technology and now represent a global technology and innovation hub in Washington's first congressional district. I have witnessed firsthand how rapidly technology has advanced in just a few decades, but at a policy level, we're behind. I strongly believe that privacy is a fundamental 21st century issue of civil rights, civil liberties, and human rights. Americans should be able to rest easy knowing that their most sensitive personal information is protected from misuse and abuse, but studies show that that's not the case. 70% of Americans believe that their personal data is less secure now than it was five years ago. And nearly half of all American consumers feel that they've lost control over their data. Part of the underlying problem the United States has no national standard to protect our personal information. In that vacuum created at the federal level, states are stepping up and passing their own policies to protect their constituencies. California, Virginia, and Colorado have all passed state privacy laws, and other states like Washington have made significant progress on their own legislation. But this is quickly creating an untenable patchwork of state laws that's confusing to consumers and leaving millions with no protection. Imagine driving across the country. If each state has a different set of rules, your rights would change as you cross each state line. That's why I authored the Information Transparency and Personal Data Control Act to create a data, national data privacy standard that would bring our laws into the 21st century while making sure our digital economy can continue to flourish. While this is a national policy, it provides a role for states to protect their residents if the federal government doesn't act. I also look forward to reintroducing the Email Privacy Act this year. This fundamental piece of legislation would update our warrant standards for email Right now, our laws protect a letter in a filing cabinet more than an email on a server, making it clear that our policies are woefully outdated. Hi, I'm Representative April Berg from the 44th Legislative District. Technology should be a force for good, and often it is. But unfortunately, not always. We all know that using smartphones or the internet today frequently means giving up control of some incredibly personal information. That's not right, it's not fair, and we have to do better. Everyone deserves digital privacy rights. You, your neighbor, kids in school, I'm talking everyone. That's why we're working on legislation that protects your rights. We can't forget about working people, marginalized communities, rural Washingtonians, and older neighbors. They don't have the resources of tech giants, so we need to help you protect your data privacy by granting you the foundational and fundamental privacy rights you deserve. 
but that isn't enough. There needs to be processes to let you protect those rights as well. Washington State needs a Consumer Data Privacy Commission to protect the fundamental, foundational privacy rights of consumers. Washington's government should be a partner for everyone in the state as we fight to protect data privacy. The tools we provide must be accessible to everyone who calls our state their home. Privacy isn't just for the wealthy and privileged. The ability to sue is inadequate because it's too expensive for most folks and our very neighbors who are most at risk. I'm State Representative Matt Binky of the 8th Legislative District, representing beautiful Kennewick, Richland, and West Richland along the Columbia River. I spent most of my life leading and teaching on cybersecurity issues, so it's an honor to have the opportunity to speak on Data Privacy Day. As a state, we've done a lot of work in this space, especially in recent years, but there is so much more work to be done. We live in an increasingly digital world and bad actors are seizing every opportunity to exploit vulnerabilities at home, at work, and at our state agencies. It is critical that we work together to pass sound legislation that prioritizes the protection of our citizens. That means modernizing our systems, improving security, and ensuring policies surrounding data collection and retention makes sense and are in their best interest. From the time data is collected to the time it's stored, and then utilized. We need to ensure the highest level of data protection. I am grateful for all of you who are passionate about data privacy and working to make our state safer. We must continue to educate and inform, be transparent and accountable, and learn from past mistakes to deliver better results for those who count on us to serve them well. I look forward to the journey ahead and to the continued collaboration between state and local government agencies and the private sector. Together, we can set the standard for the rest of the nation. Hi, I'm Representative Shelley Kloba, and it's my honor to represent the first legislative district. In our lifetimes, we have seen an increase in our online activity with a big increase due to the pandemic. Almost overnight, we saw a shift in how we access education, our jobs, the marketplace, and our medical care. And with this shift came a huge increase in how much data is collected about our every move when we are on any kind of connected device. Some of this data that's being collected is directly related to the service being provided to you. And that makes total sense. But a vast amount of this data is behavioral surplus. And by that, I mean information about your behavior online. For instance, what sites you visit, what information you're seeking, and how long you remain on a site. All of this is visible, not only to the entity that you are interacting with, but also with the entities that they shared this data with, often without your knowledge or consent. This trail of breadcrumbs that we leave in our wake as we navigate the internet can be assembled into a profile about each of us. You might not be worried about any of these random data points, but with powerful machine learning tools and data analysis, the points come together like a pointillist painting to provide companies with a robust picture of who you are and what you're about. Data privacy rights are fundamental to preserving our values for a safe and healthy 21st century society. You, your neighbors, and your kids all deserve data privacy. This needs to be a top priority for Congress going into 2022. And I'm excited to work with stakeholders and experts like you to keep the ball rolling forward. I wanna thank the Washington State Office of Privacy and Data Protection for organizing this webinar and raising awareness on National Data Privacy Day. Thank you for all your work in promoting data privacy. And please stay safe and stay healthy. I hope you'll be interested to learn more about data privacy so that you can make informed decisions about who collects and receives your data. Happy Data Privacy Day.